As the summer sun inches closer to the northern hemisphere, it's time not to just brace for the heat, but also to elevate your living space with a touch of sophistication and convenience. Forget about just throwing a pair of shades. Let's talk about upgrading your home with the sleek and smart Yolux motorized roller shades. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Today we are diving deep into the world of home automation and we've got something really special to share with you. Yolux motorized roller shades. Now, before we delve into the details, let me address the elephant in the room. Yes, this is a sponsored review. So what sets Yolux shades apart from the rest? Well, let's start with customization. These shades aren't just off-the-shelf products. No, no, Yolux offers a unique experience tailored to your exact need and preferences. Whether you prefer an in-window setup or above-window alternative, Yolux has you covered. And let's talk about style. These shades come in myriad of colors and opacities. Personally, I've opted for the 50% light blocking option, striking the perfect balance between the ambience and the functionality. Even small things like inside or outside rotation, and also indoor or balcony or gazebo installation. But it's not just about looks. Yolux shades are also incredibly smart, with option for Wi-Fi, Zigbee, and now also matter support. Controlling your shades has never been easier. And did I mention the battery life? It's nothing short of impressive, up to six months of daily use or unlimited if you are using optional solar panel. But enough about specs. Let's talk about installation process. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly Bob the Builder, but on the other hand, I also know my way around the tools. But even I found setting up these shades to be a breeze, with everything you need right in the box and step-by-step -step instructions that even a novice can follow. You'll have these shades up and running in no time. And now the cherry on the top, integration. Yolux shades seamlessly integrate with all the major smart home ecosystems. Amazon, Google, Apple, SmartThings, you name it. And yes, we'll also showcase Home Assistant. Plus with Matter support, they're ready for whatever the future holds. From simple voice or app control to more complex scenes, scripts, these shades got you covered. Now let's dive into the world of automation with Home Assistant. Recently, I received notification from Karina at SM Lite about the latest development in OpenThread Border Router, along with the news that SLZB06 now supports Ethernet connection in addition to previously only USB. With these updates in mind, I decided it was time to enable thread support on my main Home Assistant instance and get the OTBR or Open Thread Border Router installed. I opened the Home Assistant mobile app, navigated to the integration settings. From there, I selected Add Integration and selected Matter Device. I scanned the code, performed a factory set for Home Assistant to become a primary border router because previously I tested it with the Apple ecosystem and voila, the device was seamlessly added to Home Assistant as a Matter Device. Now let's talk about functionality. With shades integrated into Home Assistant, you have full control at your fingertips. Whatever you are using, remote, voice commands with Siri or directly through Home Assistant, you'll see every action logged in real time. But here is where it gets really exciting, automation. Imagine this, it's a sunny morning and you want to wake up gently. With Home Assistant, you can program your shades to automatically open when the sun rises, giving you that perfect start of the day. But let's not forget about privacy and energy efficiency. In the evenings, as the lights come on, you can have your shades automatically lower to protect your privacy. Plus, if the light level rises above a certain threshold during the day, your shades can close to help regulate the temperature and save you on energy cost. The possibilities are really endless. You have the power to create truly customized and efficient home environment. So go ahead, get creative and make most of your smart home setup. Let's talk about Matter. Some of you, of course, will frown upon the Matter support. But actually, Matter is slowly maturing and this product is the great example of it. As I said at the beginning of the video or at the beginning of my testing of the device I'm featuring in this video, I didn't have Matter support in Home Assistant. Now I have both Matter and Matter over Thread, because this device actually is using Thread and it needs OpenThread Border Router or OTBR 
and both Matter and Thread are easier and easier to get in the Home Assistant. Lot more devices are supported, lot more coordinators, and also lot more ways of connecting. But if you are not using Home Assistant, here is the list of supported devices. For example, Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, SmartThings, and Alexa. If you have Echo 4 generation, SmartThings Hub version 3, Nest Hub 2nd Gen, or Apple's HomePod 2nd Generation, you are good to go even with Home Assistant to use Matter device inside your home. What are the perks and what brings Matter over, for example, Wi-Fi or Zigbee? Well, the biggest benefit, in my opinion, is that you can select whatever ecosystem you want to use. And devices can be paired with multiple ecosystems. For example, if we compare it with standard Wi-Fi devices, you usually have only one app that can directly control that device. If you want to add another app, you actually have to remove it from the first app and then add it to the second app. Same thing goes for the Zigbee. If you are using one app or one coordinator, you want to add it to another app or another coordinator, you have to remove it from the first one. In case of Matter, what you simply do here is you have ability to share the code. Let me show you how you can do that inside Home Assistant. So for example, you have added this device, Matter device, directly to Home Assistant. If you want to add it now to the Amazon, Apple or Google ecosystem or SmartThings, you need to click on Share Device. It will tell you that you need to enable sharing and you can do this with this device by pressing and holding the button until the roller shade moves two times and then you will see the blue light blinking. Then click Share Device. And now you have in Home Assistant code that you can scan and you can commission this device in another ecosystem. Or if you do not want to use scan, you can simply copy the code, this code here, and then paste it inside the other app. And this really gives you a big, big flexibility. During my short testing period, I haven't stumbled on any major problems. But here are a couple of things to note. Let's talk about price. This device is not cheap, but it really is not expensive. For example, for this setup that I've added to my cart, and this is a 50% shade, outside window frame, 24 inches width, 35 inches long, with round remote, the total price, including the USB cable, aluminium alloy valance finish on the box, and also bottom roads made of sleek alloy, how they call them, the total price of the device is $238. And really, that's not expensive. Remember that some of the shelf devices that you can buy only at a certain pre-cut length costs similar or even more than this device. Also, I want to mention something that I did previously mention in the video, and that is a factor reset. Normally, you shouldn't need to do that. Since I was testing the device and adding it to various ecosystems back and forth, then I had to re-record things, I did had to factory set it three or four times. The factory reset procedure is very simple. You simply hold the button on the device for around 16 seconds, it will move rod four times, down and up, and the factory reset is done. But here you must remember one thing. If you factory set it, you will need to have at least one remote with the device. Why? In factory, device is preset, meaning both top and the bottom movement position are already preset. It is also bound to the remote. When you factory set it, it will lose the top and also bottom location, but also it will remove any favorite locations and it will lose all the connections to the remote. No, it's not hard to pair it once again to remote, to select the top and bottom position, and also if needed to change the rotation of the rod. Mine, for example, required change of the rotation, but just remember that you need to do that. And how to do it? Well, there is actually excellent manual that has pictures and will guide you through each and every step. So don't throw away the manual, or save the barcode because there is a barcode for the online manual. As I said, you normally shouldn't need to factory reset it, but if you do, you also will need to reinitialize the shades and set up everything that was pre-configured in the factory. But enough talk, let's see these shades in action. First, I'll be using Apple Smart Speaker. For both Amazon, Google and Apple ecosystem, you can bind devices directly, of course, if you have appropriate hubs, but also they can be bound as sub-devices, meaning that you can attach them to both Amazon, Google, Home Assistant, 
and also Apple ecosystem. Siri, open window shade. But besides voice, you also have option of using one of the two available remotes. The round one, which I really, really do like, but also the old-fashioned white long one that is neat because you can also group multiple shades and by clicking just one button, control different groups of shades. I'm really impressed by the look and the feel of the Yolux shades. They allow me to stay in bed longer because when the sun pops up, I can just close the blinds. Check out the links in the description of your video to see what options you have. And there is option of either using Wi-Fi, Zigbee and now Matter supported devices. You can select indoor or outdoor devices and ton of different materials. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest tips, tricks and reviews on home automation, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Don't forget to check out the links in the video description to get your hands on this amazing product. And before I end up the video, I really want to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, subscribed or commented on my videos. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and shade the sun.